Okay. Whew. Run a little bit late tonight. Not gonna lie about that. I was supposed to start like 20 minutes ago. Funny story about that. Funny story about that is that I ate like two hours ago. And it was one of those things where I was hungry all day. And then I sat down and ate some food. And I made a big mistake. And then I got really, really lazy and really, really tired. Hence the reason why we're late tonight with the stream. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is my computer getting an update right now? Hit the snooze on that. Fuck off. I don't want no updates. Not right now. Should have told me that earlier. When I was doing the test streams and shit. Speaking about the test streams, right? So, for the last couple of parts, I've been, um... I've been saying that, uh, that there's a little bit of an audio delay. Since then, I have fixed said audio delay to make it almost damn near perfect, right? Not only that, but I've also increased the quality of the stream's video. The frames are up now. The bit rate is up. Uh, earlier today when I was testing, I wanted to test uh, 80,000 bit, uh, what was it? Yeah, 80,000 bit rate. But then I forgot that Twitch sucks and they can't support 80,000 bit rate. So, yeah. That sucks, right? So, let's get into some Sly Cooper. Where we last left off, we defeated Miss Ruby. And I took a fucking beating yesterday. And I'm about to do the same thing tonight. My air conditioner is off. There's no background noise. Uh, again, I do have family over. And they do not like to sleep at night. So, they are awake. Hopefully, they don't make no noise. I don't, um... I don't know what they have in store for us, but so far it's been quiet, and last night it was pretty quiet too. I also... Well, what else did I want to say? I wanted to say something else, I can't remember what it was. Um, mainly I just fuck with some of the audio, right? So hopefully, the audio is good. And as always, we need to check said audio. Like right now. So... Excuse me while you guys hear some uh, feedback into the microphone. Right. So hopefully the audio is good. And as always, we need to check that audio. Alright. Audio seems okay. I'm going to lower the gameplay a little bit. I don't want the gameplay overpowering my voice. I really hope I'm not lowering it too much. That should do it. That should be fine. And let's continue where we last left off, which was the Panda King. Travel plans to China have all been the road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless. He was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. Sly Cooper in. Fire in the sky. Alright. I always like these cutscenes. They get better in Sly 2, though. Okay. So, I just wanna... Before we start, again, wanna look at the audio, because I did fix the audio delay a bit. So... One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me just see the playback on that. So. 
All right. That looks pretty damn near perfect, if I do say so myself. Also, the quality of the stream should be fine. It's not it's not too damaging on my CPU, right? So now we can have almost a a pretty um professional stream, I should say, you know? Hopefully no hiccups, right? The only thing is that I'm working on an audio delay myself because I don't want my TV to feed back into the into the um whatchamacallit? Into the microphone. Until I get like some type of like audio wiring set up with my TV. My man over here using his secret ancient techniques. Excuse me, is he Oh Thank you. Sorry, I can't see the name like right off the bat, but thank you very much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. So we're going to uh, keep moving on. Actually, unlike last night where I uh, I was able to get some practice in. Hold up, Bentley speaking now. Not gonna lie, that follow alert kind of gave me a heart attack, right? Was not expecting it. Anyways, like I was saying, I did not have the chance to practice these levels earlier today, or yesterday for that matter. So, am I dead already? Yup, there we go. Oh, thank you very much. I do love the Sly Cooper games a lot, actually. Um... There were some people playing the Sly Cooper games uh, two nights ago. I saw someone speed running it, and I think someone else was doing a casual playthrough of it. Yeah, Sly Cooper's kind of left in the dust nowadays, sadly. Ghost of uh, Shushima is taking its place now. But for some reason, Sucker Punch keeps, um... What the hell? My bad, wrong way. Um, Sucker Punch keeps making, like, Sly Easter eggs in the game or whatever. So I feel like they do want to make a Sly Cooper game. It's just that PlayStation is probably not letting them. Excuse me? What the hell? Alright. Come on, icicles. Oh, that one's going pretty fast. Good thing I had that horseshoe. Oh, well. Come on, man. Good shit. Definitely. They put, um, they always put Sly, uh, Easter eggs in, like, almost all their games. Ever since they started with Sly 1. It's in Infamous, it's in Ghost, it was in Second Son. Uh, what other games has Sucker Punch made since then? I have a feeling they made, like, one more game. Can't remember what it was, though. I know they made, um... Whatchamacallit. That weird, like, physics game. Yeah, platformers are kind of Shit, I was looking at the chat and I died. Oh, well. Uh, platformers are kind of dying nowadays. I do agree with that a lot, actually. It's kind of sad. Recently, um, during, uh, IGN's, uh... What, what is it called? Fucking... Summer's Game Festival or whatever, they showed, like, some new platformer, indie platformer, called, like, Demon Child or something. It was, like, pixel art and shit. Yeah. Uh, wait. With Ratchet and Clank, it's definitely, um... It's weird because... They did the whole... They did the whole reimagining of the first game. And then, and then they, um, when they're doing the second game now, right, they're not following the Going Commando storyline, which I give props to them for that, because Going Commando storyline was pretty goofy. It was kind of like a joke sequel. Like, there's no actual story in that, besides the fact that there's a female Lombax. 
people team the uh, people seem to forget that Going Commando had a female Lombax in it. So they're kind of following that theme still with like the new sequel, but I don't know. I don't know why Raj and Clank gets more of the fame nowadays. The safe is here? Really? Hold up. I gotta come all the way back here? Wait, no, that's the end of the level. Where the fuck are the rest of the uh, bottles? There's a safe right here. Right. There's 30 bottles in total. Alright, there's a lot over here. We can use the mines. run over here drop this we can also use the invisible technique so yeah thieves in time did kind of suck it's weird because that wasn't made by sucker punch that was made by um that was made by i think they were called like bizarro or something i don't know it was the fucking it was like a game company that had like the monkey as their fucking mascot or whatever it was like a monkey with a with the minus symbol and an addition sign for eyes saranzu something like that oh shit <laughs> as you put it in the chat i said it so i did remember it all that useless knowledge in my head about video games will never help me in life ever when I'm sitting there at NASA, and they go, Excuse me, sir. Do you know this equation? I'll be like, no. But I do know that Saranzu made fucking Sly Cooper Thieves and Times, and it sucked. The sad part about that, though... Excuse me, did he just walk over my mind like it was nothing? I blew it up. Hello? What are you doing? That was weird. I'm gonna get caught in the spotlight. Alright, well, that sucks. Forget this. Forget the mine. Forget being careful. I don't care no more. They wasted my time. Let's do the fast walk real quick. Where's the rest of those bottles? There was two over here, right? And then there's one here. And then we're gonna run over here. There's a lot of bottles just scattered around here. We need two more, which should be up here. One there. No. Where's the last one at? Here you go. Now let's see what we get for our power up. Yeah, but Sly Cooper, these in time. Hold up, let Bentley speak for a moment. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be quiet for the cutscenes because I'm going to use this as like a playthrough in the uh, in the VOD for YouTube. But Sly Cooper Thieves of Time was weird because for some reason they decided to end it on a cliffhanger, and I don't understand why they did that. Definitely, I would like to remake these games. I would like a remake of. Well, I mean, a lot of people would definitely love a remake of Sly 2, one of the best games on the PlayStation 2, just straight up. But, um, I think I would prefer a Sly 5, because the, it's never like, it's never really clearly said or anything like that, or, or, um, there's nothing like clear about it, but for some reason I feel like the whole time travel shit was going to like kind of go full circle and end up back at clockwork probably some type of like weird time loop like final fantasy 8 style where fucking where it's like hey sly since you went back in time you're the reason why clockwork exists because i found it weird that clockwork is this fucking super mechan super advanced mechanical owl that survives for thousands of years makes no sense 
And it's like, how the hell did you get his hands on that type of technology? It makes absolutely no sense unless time travel is involved somehow. Also, in Themes of Time, if you look in the background, he's, um, he's always there. Like, in every world you go to, just watching. It's really scary, too. Sly Cooper has some really mature undertones with it. It's really, like... It's really creepy sometimes. <laughs> and that owl's pretty fucking scary. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not looking forward to fighting him in this game. He's terrifying. I don't know who's more terrifying. Him or, like, the Contessa in 2, where, um... Where she uses that, like, hypnotic move... And, like, she grows in size for some reason. Alright, so now, we're at the hub world for China, panicking. Let's see. The King of the Hill, the Unseen Foe, and Flaming Temple of Flame. Well, I assume that the Flaming of Temple will have flames in it. I mean, sounds pretty, uh, pretty par for the course, right? Oh shit. You can't see me? I'm a I'm a fucking thief of the night. Let's go, bitch. That's right. Now how the hell do I get up there? <laughs> it's been a while since I played Sly 1. It's been a while since I made it this far. Here we go. There's a hook right up here. Nice job breaking into the Panda King's compound. I think I Why thank you, Bentley. I try my best. Oh, really? I was actually talking to, um, earlier today, earlier today as, um, as I was doing some test streams, I had no commentary for them whatsoever, but, um, when I was doing the test streams, I was playing some Overwatch just to chest, test the, uh, like the frame rate and stuff for the streams. Uh, since there's no commentary on the, on the streams themselves, you can't hear it. But me and my friend, while we were playing Overwatch, we were talking, and we were, we were uh, saying like, what was the best, like, um, boss fight in Sly Cooper? And one of the things that we got stuck on was General Tao because, because although he had a lot of interesting things with his part of the game, his boss fight took for fucking ever, man. Not only that you fought him once, but you fought him twice, and his health bar was like super, like, it was crazy, man. It rivals the amount of health bar that fucking Sephiroth has in Kingdom Hearts 1. It's, like, ridiculous. I don't, like, he had a long-ass health bar, and so did, uh, Rajong when you fight him as Murray in 2. Right? Alright, let's see. Come on. Don't want to trip any of these security... Oh, fuck. I was looking at the chat. Shit. Let me just make it through real quick. Shut up. There we go. Alright. Yeah, he is one of the harder boss fights in the series. He moves a lot. He moves around a lot. Like, at least Rajong had, like, some sort of pattern. Journal of Sao is just completely fucking... I keep calling him Tower Sao. I keep switching between them. But, he definitely had some shit going on with him. Right? Man, you gotta love this invisible ability. It's great. I'm sorry. Was that a monkey or was that a human? I couldn't even tell. Jesus. It's been so long since I played this game. Just want to make sure I'm not missing any bottles because I do not want to redo any of these levels. I'm so happy that the vehicle levels don't have any clue bottles in them. I would kill myself if that happened. Let me see. There you go. Uh, the whole idea with his story was that he came from a strong family. Yeah. I mean, at least they uh, worked story into gameplay, right? Because there are some games... Nothing comes to mind right now for me. Where it's like... Um, where like you'll meet some random fuck character and they'll be like... I'm the strongest that there ever was. And they're like the easiest boss fights. You see that a lot in, like, Mega Man. For example, you play Mega Man X, and then you get to Vile. Where the hell am I supposed to go up here? You get to Vile, 
right? And he whipped your ass earlier in the game. And he's and then he beats Zero up. And then Zero does like a Chiaotzu move, right? He blows himself up. And he's all like, X, it's time for you to beat him. Where the fuck did I go? Oh, I didn't even see this. Alright, well, Sly, you fucked that up. That wasn't me. That was all you, Sly. Right? So you see Vile. Zero blows himself up. And then by this time in the game, you should have, like, the fucking Hadouken power-up if you did all that weird shit for it. You just throw one little Hadouken at him, all his health just goes down, and he sucks. Or you can use, um, Storm Eagle's weapon. I think he's weak to Storm Eagle's weapon. And you just blow his shit up. And it's like, that's the guy who beat me up earlier in the game, who I couldn't defeat. That's the guy who made Zero die. Zero was cool. I love that guy. He's a robot, and he has hair. Like, why? Why is that possible? Why was... Why are robots programmed to feel pain? Alright, I was expecting some sort of, like, fire to come up or some shit. That's why I was staring there. Alright. Alright. I thought I could do, like, a little... A little spire jump on that or something. Alright. Time for us to get the hell out of this room because... I've been standing here for too long. I didn't have enough airtime for that. I got scared. There we go. Alright. Now where the hell do I go? Over here? There we go. Grab these bottles. How many bottles we got in this level? 25? Doesn't seem too bad. Let me see. Do we head back over here? I thought I saw some bottles left over here. Shit, I didn't mean to fall. Oh, there's a safe here. Well, good thing I did fall. Yeah, there's some... How the fuck do I get over there? Is this my first time playing Sly 1? No, this is technically my third time. I played it twice. On the PS2, I was about to say PS1. I played it twice on the PS2, beat it both times, and then the rest of my memory got taken over with Sly 2. Are you fucking kidding me, Sly? <laughs> I'm having really scrubbed moves right now, not gonna lie. Having problems. Sly 1 is like a little bit more floaty compared to Sly 2. Alright. Do I just jump for it? Oh, no. Okay. I can always go back for that. That's later in the level. Really hope I didn't miss any of those clue bottles. I'm not looking forward to coming back if I have to. <laughs> Alright. Did I just go backwards? I think I did. I definitely did. Wow. Wow. This does not boat well. Scrub moves. But that's why we have these power-ups to go a little bit faster. Right? We can retcon all these mistakes. Run down here. Slide over here. Alright, cool. Now let me get a good look at this area. Because I go up there. You know what? I think I'm having a really stupid time right now. I'm having one of my, my many moments of stupidity throughout my life. Where the answer is so obvious. But I just don't see it for some reason. That's how obvious the answer is. Right? That's how obvious it is. This guy? Not gonna see what's coming. Right? Bam. Alright, what are you? Are you a human? I don't even know what the hell you are. I can't get a good look at you. There's no way that you're a human. You're probably some type of, like, chimpanzee or some shit, right? Alright, open this up. 
Grab these bottles over here. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Okay, this seems optional. So there's probably some bottles over here. Alright, good job, Sly. I'm just gonna hop down because I don't want to take the leap of faith and fuck it all up. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Gotta love the Sly soundtrack. It's so good. Dynamic soundtracks are like the best. Man. Alright. So let's head up here. See what we got. Some very intricate lasers. That's cool, man. I'll just use my crazy ancient secret family technique of jumping. Right? Do I have all the bottles? No, I'm missing three of them. Let's run back real quick. Which way did I come up from? This way? Oh, up here. Alright. I'm pretty sure I can jump down here somewhere, right? Yeah. We can do this. Hmm. Now, where did I leave these fucking bottles at? I highly doubt that they're over here in the air somewhere, right? We're not that crazy with bottles yet. Wait till like slide three or some shit. We went up there. Let's hop down here. Is this walkable? Alright, they're over there. Are those three or two? Those are two. And how do I... I definitely should have practiced this area first. Yeah, okay. <laughs> At least it's not one of those levels where you gotta, um... Where if you miss one bottle, you gotta do the whole level over again. I just did the most. Yep, okay, never mind. There's no way for me to backtrack there. Not that I know of. I'll come back for it. We'll come back for it, be a little bit more thorough. Hopefully tonight we can finish up the Panic Kings area. And if I have some time tonight, I'll definitely tackle um, Clockwork. So let's grab our treasure key. Move on with our merry selves. Good thing about these levels is that they're not too long, right? If they were long, I probably wouldn't even wouldn't even bother doing hundred percent. Oh, it's pretty low? I just don't want it to overpower my voice, because sometimes it does that, so I'll boost it up. Let me know if that's, um, let me know if that's, uh, too loud or too low. This guy's sleep. I'm about to be sleep like him. I got smacked into the damn area! Alright. Good thing I had a lucky charm on me. That probably could break the game if I died in if I died in the middle of the loading screen. Probably could have broken the game. Oh, my bad. Just jumped through the window. What am I doing? 
fucking using the front door. I'm a Cooper. We don't do that shit. This looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. Oh, come on. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Thanks for the explanation, Bentley. Honestly, I didn't know that it worked on searchlights. Alright. Gotta love how the music amps up. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Light didn't even get near me. Alright. Trying to get some wiggle room in there. Alright, cool. He definitely should have saw me there, but he didn't. Aren't there bottles behind that guy? Yeah, we can uh, reach him. Later in the level, it seems. Oh! Alright! Huh! Not gonna catch me. I'm sly goddamn Cooper. There's no bottles up here? Alright, cool. Oh, almost fell off. Alright. Hop down here. Beat the shit out of that guy. He probably had a family, you know? But his family wasn't my family, so I don't care. Right? That's like the worst excuse ever. He probably did have a family. Hyrule has a son and a wife and children, you know? A son, a wife, and children. Did I really just say that? Yep. I knew that wasn't gonna work. Shit. Listen, you can come up here. I'll just wait for you, you know? Alright. Let's move on with our merry selves. Some bottles over here. Don't forget about them. They're your best buddies. That sounds really depressing now that I think about it. Sly, don't forget about your best friend, the bottle. What is he, like a depressing alcoholic? Jesus. I mean, that's basically him in the fourth game. Starts off with him having a glass of wine at a dinner party, feeling all sad about himself. Oh man, I can't steal things no more. My life sucks. My girlfriend is a super hot cop lady. Come on, Rafiki. This is what happens when you put Rafiki in the fucking Kung Fu Panda. He becomes Bushido Brown or some shit. Oh shit. Smacked her with the back of my cane. Like I was a pimp named Slintback. How the fuck do I get past this guy? You know what? I know exactly how to get past this guy. Roll like the wind, damn it! Oh shit! Alright, well, that didn't work out. I do have a decoy. <laughs> or we can just climb up here and get the drop on him. Yeah, that, that seems smarter. Uh, let's see. Oh, what made me want to get into streaming on YouTube? Uh, well, that's a funny thing, right? It all started way back when. When I was a little baby mammoth. That's right. I used to have tusk and a trunk and a lot of hair. It was it was the good old days. It was back in probably like, I don't know, like I wanna say two thousand and eight or something. Probably further than that. Like two thousand and six. 
I remember, you know, YouTube was still fairly, not new, but not as popular as it was now, right? And I almost went straight into the fucking, into the goddamn lasers. I'm trying to find a good spot to jump, right? And get these bottles. You know what? Why am I trying to get the bottles at the same time? Just destroy the fucking, just do that. Make my life easier, right? Um, so like 2006, right? I was bored, nothing to do. And I was on YouTube, you know, watching Niga Higa, or whatever the hell you pronounce his name, right? Had to be gangster and all that shit, because I found it funny. And then I was like, man, I really do like Pokemon. I wonder if I type in Pokemon, will I just see some Pokemon, right? So I typed in Pokemon. And then I saw someone was doing a playthrough of Pokemon Red. And I was like, oh, I like Fire Red. It's great. It's amazing. I love that game. Too bad I lost my copy, right? So since I lost my copy, I was feeling nostalgic and I wanted to watch it. The person who was playing it was none other than someone by the little name of uh, Trekker Conroy. Not sure if you heard of him, right? And I sat there and I watched the whole entire playthrough. What is up here? Why am I jumping? This bottle up there, of course. Come on, Sly. Am I missing one bottle? Are we doing that bullshit again? We're missing two bottles. It's probably down here. It's probably down here. You know what? I don't even think it's down here. I think if I jump down here, it'll instantly send me to the uh, key. Yeah, so, I saw Chuck or Conroy watch the whole entire playthrough. I believe this was 2006 or 2008. And I was like, man, that's fun. And then I never watched the playthrough on YouTube again, right? Until, I want to say, like, it was, it was before I was, like, as heavy into gaming that I am now. One day, I was just sitting at home, and I was like, man... Pokemon Diamond and Pearl was really fun. Too bad Pokemon's over and they're not making a new one. Man, if only. And then I said, wait a minute. I typed in Pokemon on YouTube before and I saw some shit. Let me do it again. And then I saw a Pokemon Black and White. That was coming out, I think that was 2011. And I got so fucking hyped for it. I was like, Pokemon's not dead? Oh my god. Look at all these weird motherfuckers. And then, uh, someone was doing a playthrough of that, but it was in Japanese. But I watched it regardless, because I loved it. Went out and bought that game. And then I was like, wait a minute, I just watched, like, a Pokemon, uh, black and white playthrough. Let me see if, uh, if there's, um, come on, motherfucker. Alright. I was trying to get him to come closer to me, but he wouldn't. I was like, let me see. If there is a playthrough for Heart Gold and Soul Silver, because I never bought those games. Well, I have them now, but at the time I didn't have those games. Went looked that up, saw those playthroughs by uh, someone named Luroy. Right? Had a great playthrough of like Pokemon Heart Gold, I think he was playing. Like he beat the entire Elite Four with just uh, whatever the hell uh, uh, Chichao involves them too. Like, Lantern or some shit? I forgot the name of the Pokemon. It's like the Gen 2, uh, Water and Electric type. And then, uh, after that, in the recommended sections, I saw Trucker Conroy again, and I was like, man, that name looks familiar. How the hell do I get over there? I would just jump across. Hmm... How do I get over there? I think I just jump below, right? So then, I saw Trucker Conroy do, um... His Pokemon, uh, Emerald playthrough. And I was like, this is, this is all some really, really cool shit. Right? I would like to do this one day. 
then fast forward to I want to say 2014 um there's some early playthroughs on my channel don't get me wrong I'm not gonna I never boast about them or anything because they suck but I'm still gonna keep them up there because you know they're part of the history you know uh 2014 I was looking for a game to play and I had I had like a capture card I had a Roxio and I was itching to use it right and uh, a new game was coming out called like Life is Strange so then I played Life is Strange I like the playthrough right well I like the playthrough for what it is in terms of like audio and visual and stuff like that had some hiccups right Roxio sucks don't ever buy Roxio you're, you're better off pulling your damn fucking fingers out of your hand right and yeah I know what I said pull your fingers out of your hand <laughs> makes no sense but um I'm really trying to find these last there's two bottles over there and there's like just one somewhere I don't know where the hell it's at Not back here or anything. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so... I played Life is Strange. The whole entire thing, all the way up to 5. I had pure fun doing it. That was fun. And then... I played a couple of other games. I can't really remember what they were. Because... I ended up deleting the uh, playthroughs for those because I just wasn't happy with the audio for them. Uh, one of them was Catherine. I did a Catherine playthrough. Right now there's another playthrough on my channel called Catherine Revisited. <laughs> so I kind of replaced that one. Um, what else? And then as I was doing Catherine, I said, you know what? I played Danganronpa. But I didn't play Danganronpa 2, so let's do a playthrough of that. That's just like a mi uh, murder mystery, high school anime, visual novel esque games with like, with like um, Phoenix Wright esque trials and stuff like that. Am I about to fucking? Am I about to miss this bottle again? Was it below here? No. So I did that. A whole complete playthrough of that lasted like 62 parts or something like that uh, the audio on that playthrough kind of varies you know I was still fairly kind of fairly new to it I'm still fairly new to it now like altogether I've kind of been doing this for like three years but not consistently right and so I did that. I would love to do a Danganronpa V3 playthrough. I have yet to play that game. I have it. But since it's a story heavy game. You know. It's always good to record that on first playthrough. And that's pretty much it. Most, most of it is just. Most of it is just one of those things where I saw it and I was like. I would love to have. Not a career, but I would love to do something to bring people like of like mine who who likes the games that I like, like the things that I like, you know, anime games, movie music, whatever, whatever have you, you know, get this community started or whatever, if I can. And if something happens along the way to where I can do it as a career, I mean, I'm not going to sneeze at the chance for it, right? I don't think anyone would. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what got me into it. Even though, even though I'm not consistent with it. Especially since I have a really fucked up schedule. Want to make sure there's no bottles up there. Got to check every inch because there's just one bottle that, one. There's two bottles that I'm missing. Right, they're probably sitting right next to each other.
swing over here. All right, let's look around. I really have no idea where these last bottles are at. They have to be near the goal, right? They're really like tucked away and hidden somewhere. Maybe they're back at like all the way in the beginning, like right in a corner somewhere. But I can figure it out. Um, I don't think, man, I'm really going to have to come back for all those uh, clues and shit. I'm missing a lot of them. I usually try to get them on the first go. Um, what am I holding, by the way? We need to head to the King of Hill. I don't think that when it comes to YouTube or Twitch that there's really... Like, there's a lot of people out there that say, make sure you do, uh, differentiate yourself from other creators. The most, I would say, that contributes to that is, for example, right now... There are some playthroughs on my channel. What am I doing? Am I protecting Murray? All right, cool. Analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. All right. Let's try not to kill him, cause you can shoot him dead here. I'm going in, Sly. All right. Let's try to. I want to get rid of these um fireworks and shit that can possibly kill him. Oh shit! Sorry, Murray. Oh, he has some horseshoes on him. Oh, my horseshoes transfer over to him. I never knew that. Uh, sorry. I'll continue to what I'm saying in a moment. I'm trying to make sure Murray doesn't die. Good job, Murray. Keep it going. I got your back, buddy. My man Murray out here braving it. Look at him. He's ready to risk it. For the Cooper honor. Look at this guy. Wait, why are you going up there? Oh, shit. Thanks, Murray. I appreciate that. Keep it going, Murray. Murray, you gotta move, buddy. You gotta move. I gotta make sure I can't... I don't want to hit you, buddy. Is there an elevator over there? Okay, cool. You got it, Murray. Oh, son of a bitch. Good, Murray? Up top? Oh, shit. No, Murray! That was the last one? Where is he? Where are you still flinching from? Good job, Murray. I always trust you. Yeah, so like I was saying... Uh, my man Murray out there, braving it. Look at him. Look at that guy. Who's that guy? That's Murray. That's the fucking Murray right there. Anyways. Um. Yeah, when it comes to streaming in YouTube, I never really think about differentiating myself. Uh, the most, the most that I try to contribute to something like that is when, um... So, like I was saying, right now, there's some playthroughs on my channel that aren't finished. You know, that's par for the course. Oh, I need four or something? Wait, hold up. I did unlock those. What do I do? I hit them? There you go. Um, there's some playthroughs on my channel that aren't finished, right? You know, like, for example, uh, currently I have Pokemon Sword. And uh, uh, earlier last year... 
I started doing a motherfucker. <laughs> I started doing motherfuckers, yep. Earlier last year, I started doing a Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U. And I didn't finish either of those. Not because I didn't want to, just because I have a lot of schedule problems. That, um, I have a really tight schedule for what I can do. Uh, I wasn't even paying attention. What the fuck did those things do? Oh, down here. Cool. Um... Go ahead, Bentley. Tell me what you gotta say. I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven... Bentley, aren't we supposed to be friends, man? Right on. I'll steal them in no time. Bentley, I swear you want me to die sometimes. You know, you just, you're just really suspicious sometimes. I can't trust you. Never trust a guy with a glasses and bow tie. Um, but yeah, uh, those playthroughs, as I was putting them up at the time, uh, some other content creators that I watch from time to time, they, uh, <laughs> they were putting up the exact same playthroughs. So, the most I try to do, just to make sure that I don't copy off of someone, is that I just don't watch them, because I don't want to, like, do the same jokes, or say the same thing, or anything like that, right? Which kind of sucks, because there are some playthroughs that I still haven't even watched, right? And also, there are some games like Danganronpa that are, like, story-heavy, where... Story-heavy, or... You can just tell that it would mean more if you recorded yourself doing a, um... Doing kind of like a blind playthrough with it. So, sadly, there are some games like that that I stay away from. Like, I own... Like, Danganronpa isn't just one of them. Another one is the Phoenix Wright trilogy. I own that. And... I've only went up to, like, the second trial in that. And that's, like, the first Phoenix Wright. Um... There's also games like, uh... Sorry. Alright, I was listening to, a uh, Panda King. There are also some other games that I have, um... I'm trying to find out... Like, right, example, one of the games I planned on streaming... Like, uh, oh my god. Guys. Stop it, you monkey motherfuckers. Just give me a second, okay? Give me a second. Let me destroy the barriers. Destroy your little spawn. Right? Jesus, you guys spawn too fucking fast. It also doesn't help that this thing has a shit range on it. There we go. Alright, cool. Um... What was I saying? Yeah, uh, one of the games I was playing the stream, uh, if it wasn't going to be Sly Cooper or Jack and Daxter, was uh, Resident Evil 3 Remake, which I have yet to touch. I played the original Resident Evil 3, like, twice? So, playing the remake would be fine. I like uh, Resident Evil 3 better than 2. I know that's sacrilege, but that's who I am, right? I find the outside of Raccoon City more interesting than staying indoors the whole entire time. Don't get me wrong, Resident Evil 2 Remake was fucking great. That playthrough is one of the ones that are actually completed on the on the channel, so if you ever want to go watch that, that's there. Um, shameless plug is shameless. But yeah, most of the time when it comes to just like making your mark on content and stuff like that, it kind of doesn't matter to me. Because I never go in the mindset of, man, I'm going to make this video, I'm going to get a lot of money from it, or whatever. None of that really matters to me, it just matters if I'm making a video, if I'm having fun, if I'm making it good quality enough so that other people can have fun, right? My goal is just to get, like, people to kind of come together. Motherfucking vehicle missions. Son of a bitch. I hate you.
Sorry if I'm being a little quiet right now. I'm actually focusing. I'm actually focusing because since I lost my last horseshoe, right? I don't want to fuck this up. And do it all over again. Come on, Sly. We're almost towards the end. You see that? You see that? There's a key up there. You gotta get that. That's yours. Good shit, Sly. Now claim your prize. What if a monkey just came out of nowhere and just, like, super spider kicked me in the back of my head? God, I'm really happy there's no goddamn bottles in these fucking vehicle missions. Oh man. Imagine there were bottles in here and they were like hidden. I would never touch this game ever again. You gotta be a madman to do that. Just like that crab mini game. That crab mini game sucks. Are there any extra lives in this hub world? I think Sir Raleigh's place was the only place that had extra lives hidden somewhere. Duel by the Dragon. That's cool. I like that name. That's awesome. Hey, Bottles! My best friends, there's 40 in this level. God damn it. Bottles, you truly are my best friend. I love you, but I hate you at the same time. Oh my god. No, Carmelita. Shut up, Ringtail. Sly always has a smarky ass comeback. That's what I love about him. Must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint Damn. Sly out here with the facts. Spitting? Try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. I'm not sure about that. I've escaped you multiple times. I did it before, and do it again. Just make sure I don't get hit by that damn shock pistol. Oh no! You did that on purpose, you! How dare you! Oh wow, I'm dead. Alright, well, let's time this next time. Come on, hurry. Thank you. Come on, Sly, get off the safe! You madman! You absolute crazy person! I'm sorry, is that a hook I can get up? Oh shit! I'm a fucking pro. That's why you love me, Carmelita. All my super slick ass moves. I'm slick like fucking greasy lightning. How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? Like this? Oh shit. Chill out, Carmelita. Oh well, well, forget about that guy. He's not important. How the fuck do I get over there? Alright. Up here. Oh shit, I almost jumped straight in there. Alright. Where am I going? Where am I going? Hopping straight down. Alright. Do I have a breather now? I have a slight breather. Shit! Alright, Carmelita, calm down. Calm down, it's not that serious. 
You don't gotta kill me now. Uh, do I hit? There we go. Shit. That's really close. Very uncomfortable. Come back down here, elevator. Trying to find those last bottles. Don't want to miss them. Turn the camera. Oh my god, I fucked it up, didn't I? What the hell is he keeping? Alright. Well, the other two bottles are over there, so I don't know why that guard was facing that way. I guess you just hit him for coins. Oh my god, Carmelita, stop it! Come on, Carmelita, look at this pretty mug. You don't want to hit this. Look at that frame rate drop. Beautiful. Hey, Bentley, want to give me the code to the safe now? Alright, thanks for showing up to the stream. Have a good night. It's pretty late. The code had better be two, three, one. Two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one, just like Zelda. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into, and you won't even lose Whew. the lucky charm. Thank you for that. So we're basically invincible, that's what you're telling me, Bentley. Invincible. Oh my god, Carmelita. Give me a moment. Give me some breathing room here. When you least expect it, I'll be there. <laughs> that really looks like Carmelita just died. Okay. So we don't have to backtrack for that area. How many areas does Panda King have in total? He has four more. Well, four more that that we unlocked. So let's hop down here. How do I get past this guy? Oh, I can just go the other way. Man, I'm assuming Sir Raleigh had, like, the biggest hub world out of all of this. Bam. A desperate race. What is this, Murray? This looks like something for Murray. Murray, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand, and I think to myself, Hey, Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here, and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere. Bucking let me take a let me take a swig of this water. This track for a key. We could use the key. Think you could take I'm getting pretty parched out here, you know. No air conditioner. All right, remember, it's hot as hell in this room. It's crazy. Keep clear of those icy patches. All right. For the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. Yeah, Sly, he got this under control. My man went out there and risked his life for some keys. So, we gotta watch out for these slippery ice. Out of my way, man. Yo, that guy flipped over! Oh, you fucked up! Oh, bro, how are you turning like that? Calm it down. Give me some breathing room. 
right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Getting a little slidey out here. Oh, shit! I flipped over. But that's just the first lap. We're in third place. We're doing pretty good. Let's try and grab another boost. Pass that guy. All right. Come on, Murray, you can do this. I believe in thou. I believe in thou. I believe in thou. We are a team, Murray. You and I, we're gonna go places. This guy is hauling ass. Come on. Come on, Murray. We can do it. We can do it. No! There goes our chances. I'm sorry, Murray. I failed you. My man said, wrong side of the... What are you talking about? Ain't no road. Man, I had that. I had that. I'll never get that close ever again. That guy flipped over. Took him two seconds to flip over. That guy flipped over too. And how did he get past me? My guy. Come on. What are you doing? Oh. I'm in first place. Get the fuck out the way. Me. The Murray. Oh, shit. I'm in second place. No. Let's just hug. Let's just hug the corners. You know? Oh my god, I missed that. Can't believe I missed that. Well, as long as I don't fuck up, right? As long as we don't mess up too bad. We can still, still win this. Oh my god, I messed up. <laughs> don't grab that. Alright. What is with that turn? I just gotta get in front of this guy. If I get in front of him, it's all mine. Right? Come on, Murray. You can do this. I believe in you. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry about it. We don't need it. Let's try not to hit this too hard over here. And we did it. Only two tries. Nice driving, Murray. Now, go get that key. That definitely makes up for uh for all the tries we had to do during mugshots run. Good job, Murray. I knew you had it in you, buddy. All right, 72%. What places do we have to go back to? We're good there. We need to head back to... No. That's vehicle mission. Flaming Temple, we do need to do that. What was King in the Hill again? King in the Hill was the beginning area, and we, we got that, I believe. No, this was the beginning area. What the fuck was King of the Hill? King of the Hill was escorting Murray. Yeah, okay. So, we only need to revisit two places? Unseen Foe and Flaming Temple. Alright. That's not too bad. We're missing two bottles over here. Okay. They're probably somewhere in the beginning, too. So, let's be very thorough. Right. Check every nook and cranny. We 
make sure we check every corner, right? Up, down, all around. Check these corners, make sure there's no bottles. Right? We're just missing two, right? Yeah, just two. They weren't down here with that guy, so that guy's pretty crystal. Right? Did I check over here? I went in there. Check these corners. Make sure there's no... I don't think it's until slide 2 where the bottles make a sound if you're near them. I want to make sure it's not like hiding in any of these corners over here. Alright, then it has to be over here somewhere. Right? Oh, there they are. They're right up here. Alright. Good. Now all we gotta do is just head towards the, um, whatchamacallit. Head towards the safe, finish the level, and then we're good. Let's move over here. These are awesome Cooper reflexes. Alright. Did I just pass the fucking, um, the safe? I think I got so eager, and I just passed the safe. Did I really just do that? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll just get the checkpoint, right? Come on, hit the fucking laser slide. There you go. We'll get the checkpoint, and then we'll finish the level. I passed the safe. Can't believe I did that. All right, we have four lives, oof. <laughs> I forgot that we gotta climb all the way up for the, um, for the safe. So, ignore them. Climb up here. And here we go. Bentley, tell me my prize. To enter the vault code. It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be six, six, seven. 
Ah, oh, so close. All right. What do we get, Bentley? You found the blueprints for the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your binocucom. Thank you. This is actually very helpful, so we can find those other two bottles in the uh, in the other level. Good thing I came to this one first. Oh my God, Sly! Why? Why did you choose to go for that? Fucking Sly Cooper. Sometimes, sometimes this guy. Sometimes this fucking guy. Who's this guy? Look at this guy. Who? Who's that guy? Who's this guy? Look at him. Who's that guy? This fucking guy, Sly Cooper, this guy. I tell you about this guy. This fucking guy right here. Always fucking it up. This guy. Really don't know why Sly decided to aim all the way down there, but whatever, man. Actually, I don't think... I don't think we need to finish the level, do we? I think we can just go. I think we can just go. It counts it. It counts it anyways. Right? Yeah, it just it counts it. <laughs> we can just go. Just get it and go. Alright, guy. I don't have any horseshoes. Let's see if we can find uh, those bottles. I see you down there, you son of a bitch. Alright, so we got a horseshoe. Let's try not to lose it. And there should be another free horseshoe coming up, right? this up. Alright, cool. Grab this. We're gonna need this for when we fight the Panda King in a little bit. Motherfucker. Oh, that's why you missed. You bitch. I'm sorry. What are you, a chimpanzee? Yeah, chimp. Alright. Chow main. Listens to techno. Cool. You gonna you gonna jump down. Alright, was it over here that they said the uh Down here. Where at? Like down here, down here? Oh, you sneaky son of a bitch! There they are! Fucking hiding in the corner like that. Who does that? That's cheap. That's some, like, that's some fucky Crash Bandicoot shit. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Who does that shit? Who does that? Look at this guy. Alright, ancient fucking Kung Fu monkey, calm down. Alright. Hop over here. The rest should be a, a breeze. Come on, Sly. And where are we going? We're going this way. Fuck. 
Fuck you, you'll never catch me! Damn it! I try to... I try to rush it. But I failed. Okay. Finally made it towards the end. Almost ran past the goddamn safe. Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. You son of a bitch. How dare you? All right, we'll come back for it, Bentley. God damn it. So with that, we have all the treasure keys in order to confront the Panda King. So let's do that. Uh, where's, where do we put the keys at? Over there. Alright. Forgot I gotta hit them. See that ring on the bundle of fireworks? Hook on to it with your cane to hitch a ride. Alright, Panda King. Bring it on. You're probably gonna beat the shit out of me. I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child, you shall pay. Insolent child. <laughs> Still, to honor your My man said, "You taste that? What is that? Tastes like disrespect." The beauty of my new firework technique, flame food. All right. So I believe we have to take cover and work our way up to Panda King. Motherfucker. Alright. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. Fiery. Son of a bitch. Alright. If we keep moving, he's not gonna hit us. Uh-oh. Almost got hit that time. Fiery wheel. Palms of thunder. Fiery wheel. Palms of thunder. Fiery wheel. Palms of thunder. Fiery wheel. Alright. We're making some progress. Have yet to mess it up. Don't worry, I'll mess it up once I get to the end. Fiery wheel. Booming chop. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. Booming chop. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. Booming chop. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. Thank you for the follow! I can't read right now because I'm one hit till death. But I'll read it in the moment! Booming chop! Palms of thunder! Booming chop! 
Booming chop. Palms of thunder. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. All right. One more trade. One more trade, and then, and then we have defeated the conflict, motherfucker. Oh, he got stuck, motherfucking Sly Cooper. What's good with you, my guy? All right. Are you gonna? Gotta get one more hit in there. All right, cool. How's Run doing? He's doing pretty good, actually. Um, let me just be quiet. Let a uh, Kung Fu Panda say his last words. Alright. Retrieving the Panda King section of I'll answer your question after this cutscene. <laughs> learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche. Hot Latino Spitfire puts Fiery Panda on ice. Villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. All right. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> During that whole entire fight, my heart was racing, and then that note that uh, what's it called? What the hell is it called? The um Twitch alert scared the shit out of me. Oh no, I wasn't speed running. It's um, you know, just doing regular playthrough. But it's pretty good actually. I'm kind of um going through it like kind of partially blind. I've only beaten this game like twice. Alright, I've only beaten this game like uh, twice, and that was on the PS2, so I haven't really made it this far on like the collection. I am usually play a slide 2 and 3 more, but kind of doing this for a playthrough, live streaming it right now, and uh, it's going to be on YouTube later, right? Okay, so, with that said, set to the final area, we hopefully put a stop to clockwork. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Sly Cooper in the cold heart of hate. Clockwork is fucking terrifying. It scares the shit out of me. Hey, Sly. Oh yeah, it definitely has a uh, classic feel. Alright. <laughs> Do me a favor, just fire your questions in the chat if you have any. I'm gonna be focusing on this because vehicle missions suck. I hate them. Hey yeah, Murray, I'm trying my best, man. Try my best, Murray. Try not to fuck it up. Alright. Yeah, but um Alright, come on. Bring on you fucking feathery bitches. Yeah, but um, 
Although, in my opinion, although Sly 1 isn't as good as Sly 2 or 3, it is still a classic. And the controls may feel a little bit more floaty, but they're still great. The game is still very high quality even for today. Definitely still gives a uh definitely still gives Mario Odyssey kind of a run for its money. Cause there are some parts of Mario Odyssey where it feels like strict. And that's not a bad thing necessarily. It's just sometimes sometimes you want that nice flow motion, right? If I, if memory serves me correctly, this is a pretty fucking long section. Maybe not as long as, uh, the turn sections in Jack 2. Oh shit, did I die? No, that was a horseshoe. Now I died. Bark! What's the checkpoint for this? Oh no. Oh no. No! And now I have no, no horseshoe. Oh no. This is the worst of the worst. Oh. Now I remember why everyone hates the vehicle sections. Damn it. If I was doing a speed run, I would. This is probably the moment where I would just rage quit and turn off the damn game. Never play it ever again. Go into the shadows of obscurity. Cursor control is not good. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's weird, because, like... Although the cursor points that way, your shots don't hit exactly where the cursor are. Come on. Let's try not to fuck it up this time. Cursor is super sensitive too. Come on. Right about that, Murray. Right about that. One hit and we're dead. One hit and we're dead. Keep that in mind, buddy. One hit and we're dead. We're gonna die. I'm having a heart attack here. Nice shoot, Woo! Sly. Made it. Thanks, Murray. That cave doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through. All right. Good shit. We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. Would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, we'll 60's pretty too high of a goddamn number. So they'll fall to the ground. Then Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay. And Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Alright, so I gotta hit the computers? Okay, that's not too bad. It's not like the crab minigame where, um... Where, uh, if they even catch one of them, it's over. But there's a lot of them. I'm whipping their asses. That's what I'm doing right now. And I flip the damn car over.
Usai, lava monster. These are my computers. You can't have them. They're mine. I'm gonna use them to mine all the Bitcoin I can. And no one's gonna stop me. I'll be the richest there ever was. Shit. Alright, now they're catching up to me. But I got it. Fuck those guys. Damn right. We're almost there. Almost to the final confrontation. Avenge my family, damn it. Those tiles are booby trapped. You better get out of there. Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. Oh, come on. Don't be mean to her, Bentley. She's super hot. That's got to be good for something. If I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. You know, a hop, jump, leap, and a skip, and a zip, bop, boo, la, dop. We got it. We got it. You know, we're unstoppable, Bentley. Unstoppable. Rocket, it's impossible. Row, row, fight the power. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going, by the way. <laughs> I'm just doing what comes natural. Let's see if we can get some, uh, coins. Oh! I didn't even notice that. You know what? I deserve that. I deserve that. We got two we got two lives left. Oh shit. We have yet to game over in this. Fucking one hit kills. Goddamn Sly Cooper. But don't worry. After this we get to play two and three. In which you get all you get a hell oh fuck. I fucked that up. I didn't even see it. That was my bad. That was all me. Break that. The hell do I need this barrel for? I know exactly what I'm gonna use this barrel for. Don't worry, Carmelita, I'm coming. Fuck! I timed that poorly. Oh man. Yeah, we're definitely gaming over. The first game over of the playthrough. It's gonna be sad. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start drinking heavily. Don't think I can live with myself. Oh, motherfucker, why? Why did I do that? I know it's there. And I just fucked it up, like an idiot. Don't worry, Carmelita, your hero's on the way. I won't fuck it up this time. This is some really tight ass timing. I'm coming, baby. Your knight in shining armor's here, damn it. Sly Cooper. I should 
have known you were behind this. You got me wrong hey, don't spot. don't put dirt on my name like that. It's like calling me a rat. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall. I'm not gonna lie, Clockwork just scared the shit out of me. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. I love how Carmelita is still bitching at me even though I'm passed out on the ground dying in front of her. I to do this in a while. Okay, I used the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Okay, so the green bits hurt me. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the yellow security code. Uh-oh, it looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithms. Stay sharp, All right. Please. Let's not fuck this up. I say as I almost fuck it up. Oh, come on, blocks. Come here. Come here. You know you want to get captured by the Bentley. Level three. You're damn right. Oh, shit. I'm not a fan of bullet hell games. Come on, Bentley. You got this. Damn it! Oh my god. I fucked that up. Come on, Bentley. We got this, buddy. We don't got this. We're gonna die. We're gonna die! Damn it! Yeah, try again. That takes a life, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's a nice soundtrack, though. I like it. Oh my god, did I really just run into that like a fucking idiot? And I ran into that too. I might as well just give up right now. Yeah, definitely. But this is going to be my mortal enemy. Oh, so we don't lose a life doing this. Got infinite retries. That's what I'm talking about. Good shit, Bentley. Oh my god, can't believe I did it again. I just want to get rid of the green bits that are near it so I don't touch it by accident. The background is definitely playing tricks on my eyes, though. All right, Bentley, let's move on. We're doing pretty good. Give me that. Try not to get hit. That's pretty close. Thread the needle on that one. All right. Not going to risk it. It's too many over there. And you get, like, no invincibility frames. Just grab that last one. And it's over. Good job, Bentley. by smashing its face and I'll make it up to you somehow damn right anything for you Carmelita I don't get it Cooper I've hunted you for years tried to throw you behind bars but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage you set me free why Cause you're super hot and no other reason else. Now the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. Alright. 
Until clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. <laughs> I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you get it back. If you can, make your way to the top of the death ring. I stashed my jetpack there before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team at all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well... Alright. Maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. Alright. Oh, we're we're defending Cooper. Oh shit! All right, my bad, Sly. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I thought I was controlling Sly. Shit. We're on our last lives. This is where we game over, guys. Man, Sly, you're moving pretty fucking fast. Fuck, dude. There's our game over. Yeah, I want to try again. Definitely. Uh, you really gotta like call it out here. All right, Sly, where you going? Anything in front of you? There you go. Those motherfuckers move super fast. All right, Cooper, what you got? Fuck. Let's hit it, Carmelita. Shit. Something in front of him? Is something behind him? Where is it? Oh, I gotta shoot that. That was close. Alright, get your damn cane, Cooper. Good shit, Sly. I think we have a time limit now, right? It's sinking fast. Climb, Sly, climb. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I should have anticipated that. Yeah, I should have anticipated that. Shit, yeah, the lava's catching up. Fuck! Damn it! Alright. I gotta try and go a little bit faster here. I gotta become one with the cane. One with the Cooper. Don't think about a slide, just feel.
Oh shit. Come on, Sly. Come on, Sly. Come on, Sly. You can do it. Basically defied physics there, but whatever. Cutting it pretty fucking close here. God damn it, Sly! <sighs> Come on. No. No. Oh, we gotta do it all over again. Shit. Alright. We'll make it this time. Come on, Sly, you can make it. We got all the time in the world, baby. Let's do this. Still cutting it pretty close, buddy. Whew! Alright, made it. Time for the final confrontation with Clockwork. Okay, that jet pack is easy to oh, find. inverted controls, goddammit. Sly, behind you! Sly Cooper, you have escaped my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. Remarkable. You Coopers always find a way to beat me. Always? So that was you in the background of all those old pictures in the Thievius Raccoonus. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're My man out here pulling a goddamn cell from DBZ. Talking about, I am perfection. Then you better start shooting, damn it. Shit. You're the weakest Cooper I've yet encountered. Shit. I gotta get con I gotta get used to those flying controls. Left, right, down, up, okay. Alright, I went straight into that one. Hmm. Not having a good run here towards the end. Just really fucking it up all types of way. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. Uh oh, yep. I found, I found no way, no way whatsoever to dodge that. I'm just fucking it up towards the end. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. All right, come on, clockwork. You're the weakest Cooper I've yet encountered. My man over here just constantly talking shit, putting dirt on my name. This fucking guy right here. This fucking guy. Who's this guy? Come on, shoot the wing, Cooper. Shoot the wing, damn it. Aw, oh, shit.
All right. I think that's phase one, right? You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. Then the Cooper line will be erased, and the only master thief will be Clockwork. You this fucking guy right here. Forever. Oh, fuck! Yeah, you're right about that, Clockwork. Yeah, I fucked that up. My it's gonna take me a couple tries to do this. My experience is greater. I am not used to this shit. I've only been in this game like twice. My skills are superior. Should Sly be flying a little bit higher than this? There we go. We got a we got a bitch horseshoe with us too, cause I keep fucking it up. Oh my god, really? <laughs> this is an embarrassment. It's a travesty, I tell you. Alright, come on, Clockwork. I got you this time. I promise. You can dodge me forever. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. Man, hitting that wing is fucking hard as shit. There we go. All right. Yeah, I know that, Bentley. It's just fucking difficult, man. Flight controls aren't that good here. Oh my god. It's really not that good. <laughs> you gotta, like, pull down to go up, but Sly doesn't want to go up for some reason. Yeah, Sly, like, refuses to go up. I don't know why. Like, I'm holding up right now, so I should be, like, heading up towards the screen. But he's not doing it. For some reason. I can go left and right. No problem. Going up's a little bit tricky. Going down's no problem either. So. Let's see if we can do this. Sly has a real problem going upwards with this fucking jetpack. Like, I'm holding up, but he just refuses to go. Alright, made it past that. Use 
you can't dodge me forever. I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job at it right now, now that I'm, like, elevated properly. Oh, shit. Don't know how I made that one, but I did, though. Alright, take that, you overgrown bitch. Trying to make it, Bentley. Oh, shit. Flowers. Trying to... Fuck. Never. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I'm supposed to hold the button there. I fucked it up. And then we start from the beginning. God damn it. <laughs> I hate you, clockwork. With every fiber in my body. I hate this damn jetpack too. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. Trying to hit that fucking wing, it's difficult as shit. All right, let's elevate ourselves properly now. You cannot escape me, Cooper Raccoon. Come on, Sly, shoot it. Don't know why that wasn't connecting, but uh, that was weird, motherfucker. Oh, now I know why Sly won't elevate correctly. Whenever he gets hit, he gets stuck in like a fucking animation. And you can't, you can't move during that. I cut the last one close. You are taking way more hits than you did last time, buddy. I'm letting you know that. That I'm calling bullshit. You did not take this many hits before. Alright. Back at where we left off. Try not to fuck it up this time. I am. Blue seven. Flowers. Never. Lava two. Fucking shit. I panicked. I panicked so much. My skills are superior. I'll get it this time though. You can This is what happens when you don't do a practice run. You're the weakest Cooper I've yet encountered. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. Why is that wing so fucking difficult to hit? God damn it. Like Carmelita's doing most of the damage on that wing. I can barely hit that shit. I've done so poorly, they gave me a golden horseshoe. God damn it. 
They're like, come on, man, just beat the game already. You die like 10 times. You game over twice. You cannot escape me, Cooper Raccoon. Alright, one more hit. Did Panda King first try, no hits. Fucking clockwork. He's giving me the mugshot treatment. Alright. I am. We're gonna make it this time. I won't fuck it up. I promise. Seven. Flowers. Never. Ooh, I'm coming to clean your fucking clock, owl boy. Shit. Play. Feet together. Why are you going backwards, Sly? Motherfucker. Immortal. Bring it on, you bitch. You will never be rid of me. Clockwork. Woo! It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the thievius. Damn, tricky maneuvering's right. I'm hot as fuck. Taking down each member of the fiendish fire. Raleigh. <laughs> My air conditioner is off. I'm sweating. Finally I'd beaten them all I cleaned this dude's clock. My it's over. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. Thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One. And boom shakalaka. And boom goes the dynamite. Ah ha ha ha. I left her on an active volcano. Aren't I cool? But I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. And that is Sly Cooper and the fucking Thievus Macamagookus. I'm taking a swig of my water. I love how. I said mugshot was going to be the easiest part. Gave me the most trouble, right? And then we had to Panda King. That was pretty easy. Then Clockwork fucked it all up, right? Sir Raleigh was fine, right? Ruby. We did it fairly quick, right? Huh. It is fucking hot in here. I need to turn my AC on once the stream is over which streams coming to a close right as the credits roll we sit here and we think about all the adventures we had that one time in London that other time in America you know fucking dealing with the mosquitoes in the swamps of Haiti right 
that vacation we took in China. All the good times, they're all there. All documented. But it's not over yet. We're not done. Like I said, we were gonna collect all the bottles, right? I do not think there's a way to skip the credits, but I think that's it for the credits. They're pretty fast. You know, they're not super long like they are nowadays. All right. I hate to tell you this, Sly, but the Phoebus Raccoonus isn't fully restored. You're gonna have to go back and unlock all the vaults to find the pages you're missing. There is some good news, though. A friend of mine in Japan just sent me this really cool movie. And guess what? It's all about us. Yeah, I'm この勝ち。だが、貴族たるもの、きっと that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a trailer for, um, like an anime slide was supposed to have, but nonetheless, let's head back to China, right? And get that last safe to complete the Thievus Magookus. Right? And that's why we have the speed up button. down here. Horseshoe for good luck, so I don't fuck it up. Because <laughs> after that clockwork shit, pretty sure I'm gonna fuck it up at some point. that knockback was strong as fuck.
Oh, surprised I didn't get hit by that. That was risky. All right. All right. What is our final prize? Nine, three, two. And what is our last safe? Amazing! Colonel Rain Cooper's Time Stopper technique. Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. Yeah, all right. So we got ourselves a stun technique. And just like that, we collected all the Thievius Raccoonus. Restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the Fiendish Five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. This is gonna be fun. Then we get the credits again, right? Which are un fucking skippable. God damn it. All right, so let's wait here for these credits to roll, right? Make sure you have your little snackies with you because I do want to show off uh, the rest of the little movies or trailers that Bentley has for us. My water has, since the start of the stream, has now gotten warm. No air conditioning in here whatsoever. I suffered for this playthrough. <laughs> Man. But, uh, Sly 1. All in all, very good game. It's not the worst of the Sly games, right? It's not the best. None of the Sly games are actually bad. But these in time, they kind of fucked that one up a little bit, right? You'll see when we get there, you know, but for right now, as we finish here with Sly, tomorrow night, 12.30 a.m., same, right, we're going to try and finish Jack and Daxter, because we are at the, um, at the Red Sage's hut, and I thought, why not finish Sly first, because A, I'm in the mood to play Sly, and B, the faster we do slide, the quicker we can get the slide to. <laughs> the best slide game ever. Right? And yeah. They're gonna show us clockwork again. I have no idea why... Like, there's really no reason to, um... There's really no reason to make us go back for that, for that last safe after beating clockwork. Because there's no enemies you can really fight once you get the clockwork's lair. You've got it, so... The Thievius Raccoonus is complete! Now, try beating all the Master Thief sprints to unlock the designer's commentary. Once you've unlocked them all, I've got a special behind-the-scenes movie to show you. Alright. So I did say this was going to be 100% completion. To me, Sly Cooper's 100% completion is just getting all the clue bottles and getting all the upgrades, things that affect your gameplay, right? So we're not going to do the time trials, right? And when this gets uploaded to YouTube, I will edit in the, um, well, at least I'll try to edit in the, um, whatchamacallit, the goddamn 
the director commentary, you get, actually, I'm not going to do that. There's probably super huge copyright infringement on that, right? So we're not going to do that. You know what? We're just not going to do it. Forget I said anything. Forget that. Forget I said anything. But Bentley, what do you got for us? All right. The Tokyo police file. The secret police file. Right. Uh, all these cutscenes. Credits. And I'm guessing these are the commentaries for doing the uh, trials. Secret police file. What's this about? Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for okay, never mind. these years. Never mind. I can't skip it. Shit. Possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I, I think Sly 1 is the only game you can't skip cutscenes. I, come from a I believe you can skip them in 2 and 3. Who kept all their secrets of this is just the cutscene from the beginning. My bad. I'm sorry. When you title a cutscene the secret file, you know, one would think that uh, they unlocked it, right? You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're All right, Sly. We get it. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the We book, get it. I'm trying to skip it. I can't do it. I fucked up, guys. I'm sorry. But the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's man knew a thieving great- The Thievius Macamagookus. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up. Each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Not just any crimes. Dastardly crimes. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted Like, like Dick Dastardly? From the old Hanna-Barbera cartoons? Remember that guy? He's in the new Scoob movie. Which I haven't even watched yet. I gotta watch Scoob. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. Oh my life. god. I'm sorry. I get it, Sly. I didn't mean to- I didn't mean it. I'm trying to skip the cutscene. I'm pressing every button known to mankind. Alright, well, not, let's not do that again. Right. So, that's it for Sly. We didn't do- Technically, we didn't do 100%, but we did my version of 100%, right? It's kind of like, it's kind of like Majora's Mask, right? You play Zelda Majora's Mask, it doesn't matter if you don't, it doesn't matter if you get all the heart pieces. What matters is if you get all the mask, right? But, yeah, Sly Cooper, that's it. We have fun. I had fun. I want to thank everyone who stopped by, right? Uh, people on the YouTubes, thank you for watching. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Uh, tell me how bad I fucked up on Clockwork. You can do that in the comics for the uh, people on on YouTube. And yeah, so tomorrow night, again, 12.30 a.m., we're going to do Jack and Daxter, finish that up. And then, um, what else? If Jack and Daxter doesn't take too long, which... Considering how badly I fucked up Sly Cooper. Um, then we can probably get in an hour of Resident Evil 3. I make no promises. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, once again, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Thank you to both uh, Cote, uh, Cortera and uh, Bino935 for following the Twitch channel. You guys are are really helping me out there. And, yeah, everyone, stay safe out there. Have a good night, a wonderful evening, a great morning. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, you know, make it your day, you're special, right? Treat yourself. And, as always, thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you in the next video.